Hello people of the internet, I'm the Gaming Learn. In today's video we are going to be comparing two highly used microphones in the gaming YouTube community, the Blue Snowball microphone and the Blue Yeti. I get this question asked a lot on which one is better and which one I'd recommend because I've had experience with both microphones so I thought I'd compare the two from price to quality and also give my personal preference at the end of the video. Now like I said, these microphones are both uh, highly common in the gaming YouTube community simply because they are professional, good for the price and easy to set up so they have been uh, recommended by many YouTubers including myself. Now if you were to uh, buy a microphone to record your commentaries I would recommend either of these microphones because of the reasons I stated earlier. First we'll look into the price range of the two microphones and uh, the outside look of the two microphones. The Blue Snowball is around 60 Great British Pounds or 97 US Dollars and the Blue Yeti comes in at around 110 British Pounds or 178 US Dollars. So as you can imagine most people go with the Blue Snowball microphone when first uh, starting out on YouTube simply because it is cheaper just like uh, I did because I didn't have enough money at the time but that doesn't mean it is a better option of course and that also does not mean that the Yeti is the better option they both have their advantages and disadvantages but those are the average prices of the two microphones the Snowball of course being nearly half the price as the Yeti so now we are going to start with the outside look the settings and the stands of the two microphones starting with the Snowball microphone the Snowball stands on a three-legged stand which can be moved and when stood firmly on a surface it can be easily moved to your liking. The stand is of course connected to the actual microphone itself which can easily be twisted off. I will not be doing it in this video because uh, it kind of takes too long but you can twist it off by simply twisting it around long enough. When positioned on the stand it can be bent up and down to move closer to um, the sound you're recording to get the best sound possible. On the front it has a red LED. Uh, to indicate it is plugged in it and is working and of course it has the main microphone on the front as well now if we twist it around I'm just going to unplug uh, the USB cable right here so we can um, take a look at it better as you guys can see it has another microphone on the back it's uh, a black microphone because it's quite hard to see but you've got a microphone on around um, here uh, so this uh, en enables you to get a 360 recording of your room to record an interview for example and this can be enabled with these three settings it's quite hard to see because again it's black so it's quite hard to see the first setting is cardoid which means it reduces the sound coming from the back of the microphone and only records the front of the microphone so um, I highly recommend this setting this setting is number one for doing commentaries and uh, the second setting which uh, you can easily switch the settings of course from one to three there are three settings the middle setting uh, is the same as the first setting so it's cardoid but with a minus 10 decibel uh, volume so this can be useful if you are very close to the microphone and you want to reduce any background noise as possible and the third and final setting uh, the third setting activates the omni capsule which re uh, records the front and the rear end of the microphone so you can get a 360 sound recording and this is very useful for interviews and of course the connector right here which connects uh, the uh, the cable from the microphone to the actual computer itself so I'm going to set the blue snowball to one side and now we're going to take the blue yeti the blue yeti is attached to a very firm circular stand with a foamy texture so it won't leave any marks uh, or marks sorry if you leave it on your desk and it stands very firmly on your desk but it can still be um, easily moved to your liking the blue yeti again can be detached um, to put it on another stand for your microphone using these two screws here the Yeti can be moved and positioned forwards and backwards much more efficiently than the Blue Snowball as it has a better grip and you can simply bend it backwards and forwards a lot uh, more than you can on the Blue Snowball because of the stand. On the bottom of the microphone if we take a look here. So first we have a slot which you can connect your cable which connects the microphone to your computer. Again it is not um, plug powered. We have an option to remove the microphone and put it onto a different stand. Uh, so if you want to st uh, the stand coming out from a ceiling or from the wall for example and we also have a option to um, uh, connect your headphones to the microphone itself so you don't have to uh, say uh, put, put your headphones around the back of the computer which the Snowball of course does not have now on the front of the Yeti we have something to turn your headphones up and down using this little thing again that's only uh, that's not the actual microphone itself it's the uh, headphones which you connect to this little slot here we have a button which indicates whether the uh, uh, 
uh, a red LED which indicates whether the Yeti is plugged in or not. But uh, you can press this to uh, simply mute the microphone. You will know if it is muting if it is flashing red. So that's something that the Snowball doesn't have, and it's very useful in case you want to quickly mute your mic. Now, if we turn the microphone around, we will see that there is an option to turn your mic, the actual microphone up, not the headphones up, which is the gain. Of course, if I twist it to the right, it will turn the volume up, and if I twist it to the left, it will turn the volume down. So this can be very helpful to uh, change the actual um, volume of your microphone, which does the Blue Yeti does not have. You have to do it on the PC itself. So this is just a quick little option to turn your microphone off, um, uh, up and down, of course. Now, just like the um, the blue snowball we have four settings uh we'll actually know the blue the blue snowball had three settings we have four settings to change the actual preference of your microphone if i twist them here they're quite uh annoying to turn i thought they'd be a lot um s uh, smoother to turn but they're not and that's not important the first one is stereo which is useful for capturing a realistic stereo image and it gets the equal amount of signal in the both left and right channels but it's not important for us, of course, because uh, this is not good for commentaries. We're looking for the commentary setting. But um, the next one is, the next setting is omnidirectional, which records equal amounts of sounds from all directions of the microphones, which can be useful for things like field recordings, but again, not useful for us. But the third settings is cardioid. Now, as you guys know, this only records the front of the microphone, which is, of course, uh, the side with the logo on it, uh, just in case you guys didn't know. Um, but again, this is really useful for commentaries because it only records the front of the microphone and uh, you can get the best sound possible because it reduces sound from the back so you won't be getting any background noise or as much anyways. And I highly recommend this setting for, um, uh, sorry, for commentaries. And the last setting is bi di bidirectional, which records the front and the back of the microphone. So um, this can be very useful for uh, stuff like interviews. But again, it's not useful for us. Again, I only recommend the third setting, which is cardioid, which only records the front of the microphone, which is uh, very good for commentaries. Now we are at the computer to test the two microphones, both on the cardioid setting in the program Audacity. The first test is this blue stumble microphone, and these tests have no effects added into them, so this is completely raw footage. Hello, people of the internet. I'm the Gaming Lemon. Welcome to this test of the blue snowball microphone to test the quality and the background noise of the microphone. The second test of course is with the blue yeti microphone. Hello people of the internet I'm the gaming lemon welcome to this test of the blue yeti microphone to test the quality and the background noise of the microphone. Now these microphones both sound very similar which is what normally confuses people with the microphone as the blue yeti is nearly double the price of the blue snowball so you would expect it to have a lot better quality. But I would say the Yeti has a slightly better audio quality, but uh, it's barely noticeable. Um, so now that I've shown everything there is with the microphones, I would say that the Yeti is certainly better, simply because it has a nicer finish, it is a lot firmer with a grip, so it hardly moves and it has a lot more settings and uses than the Snowball. However, I would recommend the Snowball if you are only starting out on YouTube and you want to get a cheap microphone. It sounds almost the same as the Yeti, but uh, it also has some disadvantages, of course, which is why it is uh, a lot cheaper than the Yeti, for example. It does not grip to the stand at all, so it tends to wobble and move a lot, which can interrupt and ruin parts of a commentary. That's happened many times in my commentary, so it's really annoying. But overall, I would say go with the Yeti if you want to get the best sound possible and you are willing to spend more on your money uh, to buy something that would, uh, again, get the best sound possible. And I would recommend the Snowball if you want a simple, cheap microphone that you are first using for the beginning. They're both very good microphones and I've had experience with them both. And I would highly recommend either of these microphones, uh, not just for doing commentaries, I guess, but for making music, for recording um, uh, sound effects, for recording interviews. But uh, this, these are very, very good quality microphones and very good for their price. And I would highly recommend them. Thanks for watching this video on a comparison of the Yeti and the Snowball. I hope I answered all your questions, if not be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video, goodbye.